Guys, if y'all haven't see, seen, I've been uploading some videos more. And if you like them, give a big thanks to my babe, Amanda, man. I kind of wanted to stop doing it for a little bit, but then she watched my videos and she said she loved my voice and told me to keep posting videos. So, here we out. And, um, she didn't like the awkward silence, so I'm going to try to keep talking, so we'll see how it goes. The first thing I'll notice about this video is there's no audio. I don't know what happened with Fraps, but it, like, removes the audio to the video, so it's a silent video, so for this video, there is going to be background music. You're probably hearing it right now as I speak, but that's about it. Now, today, I don't have a lot of time, but I'm going to give you a little backstory about me. Here's a little bit of information about me. I'm 15. My birthday is December 19th. Okay. I'm pretty cool. I'm, you can pretty much average out the year if you do the math. Um, my mom passed away on February 22nd of 2012. She died at the age of 57 of a because of a stroke. And now I live with my sister, my nie and my niece. My sister is 33 at the timing of this video. My niece is five years old. I I lived in El Reno, Oklahoma, and with my mom. And then when she passed away, I now live on the border of Oklahoma City and more. I go. I currently go to a school. The school of Westmore High School. Go Jaguars, man. I love them. But, um. And then. I broke up with my ex, Hunter, in El Reno. And then I didn't really date anyone for 7th or 8th grade. There was an occasional girls, but they broke up with me the next day, and I didn't understand why. So, because of me living, moving with my sister, I be came to Westmore High. And there I met Amanda Jane Jones. And I have loved. When I first met Amanda, we met on the bus and we talked. And I mean, we both acted shy. She thought she creeped me out. <laughs> no, I was. I'm just. I was a shy person. My mom just passed away, switching to a new school, meeting new people. I was just kind of not really wanting to be social at the time. And I mean, I just didn't like, I kind of wasn't comfortable with talking to people right away. But she kept talking to me. She wanted to keep talking to me. And so I, you know, I was being given simple answers because I didn't feel like talking. <laughs> and I know you're probably watching this. Man, but that's true. I just wasn't in the mood, but and then I mean that after that day, I sat by her in the mornings and the afternoons, and I'd wait for her to get off the bus. And I kind of I I really started to enjoy hanging out with her. After a couple weeks and so, um, she we like hung out, and we'd have phases where she'd get mad at me, and I didn't know why. She's like, if you really did like me, you would you would just you should just forget about me and I, I I didn't understand why and then later on as time went by I found out she wanted me because I she kept getting mad because I wouldn't ask her out because I want and but I started to really like her so I was gonna ask her out on her birthday to make it special but since she was so eager I went ahead and did it and we have been dating for let's see what is today the 21st that would make this well it's probably the 22nd of you guys watching the video that would make it we started on October 9th so that would be seven months and 12 days um, my math is a little bad but it'd be 13 days by the time y'all watch this video and we have been I mean, we're, we're still, we're very strong. We've, we've been through a lot together and nothing has broken us apart and I'm pretty sure nothing will. 
Now comes the summer where and my sister has hate because of things that have happened, my sister hates Amanda. But so I was banned I'm banned from Amanda. But oh shit, what the fuck kind of fuck was that? That was probably her texting me and um Um Sorry guys, um sorry babe but you texted me and so we've been going strong for quite the longest time and nothing has broken us up yet and I don't think anything will even though this is now we're going to having to go three months without seeing each other I asked my sister today if I could see her and she said maybe so hopefully we can because I can't go all summer without seeing her it would break my heart and I'd I'd be very upset all right now that was and the reason I started doing YouTube is because I started watching people and it really it intrigued me and it seemed like something fun kind of doing my spare time and my mom my mom supported me all the way now I live with my sister and my sister's like uh eh, whatever but now Amanda says she supports me. She watches all my videos. <laughs> if you go and look at the comments, they're mostly from her, and it's it's just it makes me laugh. Amanda makes me laugh. She cheers me up. She makes me happy. Now my my sister's wanting to take her from me, and that's just not a great idea. It's gonna hurt me more than she thinks. It's gonna help me, but. Um, I just don't know what to do. Hopefully she says I can see Amanda. If not, I don't know. I mean, even if I do, if, even if she says it, yes, I don't have a lot of spare time in my summer schedule. The reason because is, let's see, I have to do summer school for a science class I failed last semester. Then on top of that, I need to go to my family reunion, which is, is will take a while. My the church camp with an old church I used to go to because I always go with them because uh, they knew my mom very well and then after that I go to um, I need to go to Mustang to where my dad lives and hang out with him because he's not doing very good and then I need to go out to El Reno and hang out with my brother Andrew and, and then I gotta go to Cedar Lake to hang out with my other brother brother Caleb and it's just it's a busy 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 schedule and I don't have a lot and then I need to go to the gym this summer because I'm wanting to get a little bit stronger get kind of muscle toned and then I'm also wanting to go outside more and do some running and exercising which I can do pretty much anywhere because I'm really really white and I need to start working being outside and trying to get a little bit darker but um i have a very busy schedule and it's a it's it's a long story i've been through a lot my dad doesn't care about me he says he does but he really doesn't my mom's passed away my sister she says she loves me and just wants the best for me but now she's trying to take away the only person that has made me happy since my mom passed away because of amanda I have started being a lot more social and outgoing and talking to people and trying being silly and cheering up their day. Before I met Amanda, after my mom passed, I just wanted to be by my. I just wanted to be to myself, and I just wanted to, you know, be by myself. I didn't want people to talk to me, and but it's it's. I, I just can't see how my sister has the heart to take away the only thing that has made me happy since my mom passed away. And now, it, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I just can't stop talking because Amanda doesn't like the awkward silence. But um, there's just things that I just don't know. You know, my dad doesn't look, care about me. The guy I call my dad is actually not 
by my biological dad not even he wasn't even married to my mom but he found my mom when she was pregnant and helped raise me and take care of my mom and every time we needed a home he would help us out so it, I count him as my dad because he was there for me he helped raise me he was there for my mom the video is ending I might continue this and make a part two because there's still more I need to talk about. I probably went over a couple things more than once, but I have to make, I don't know since I can't stop talking, so, um, but guys, this means a lot to me that I'm making this video. Babe, I love you, and I really do care about you, and thanks for supporting me through all, all, everything I've been through. It really does mean a lot to me. So guys, this is the end of the video. Talk to you guys later. Raging Christian out. Peace.